What is going on guys? Welcome back. My name is WolfClick. I'm the 2016 Pokemon World Champion and today I'm walking you through a Pokemon that has been getting a lot of hype and it's a really interesting Pokemon because it has a lot of really great things about it but it just has one thing that makes it like very 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 bad. So uh, I'm really interested to analyze this Pokemon as opposed to other ones because it's very unique in the way that it plays and yeah that, sh that should be it. So let's just jump right into it. This is Galissapod. Uh, what do you need to know about Galissapod? It's a bug water type. One of two, I believe, fully evolved bug water types introduced this generation. Um, it's weak to rock, electric. Is that it? Rock and electric? I think that's it. Wow. Okay, so it's only weak to rock and electric. It has like a decent amount of resistances, um, and it takes neutral damage from a lot of things, but that's not really the important thing. Okay, first of all, its design is awesome. It looks really, really cool, and its shiny form also looks really cool. So if you have a shiny Galissapod, you should feel good about yourself because it's really cool. Um, what do you need to know about it? Okay, here's, here's the main thing. Its, its ability is called emergency exit, which basically means as soon as its health, as soon as its health hits 50% or less, it's forced to switch out, which is like an eject button, but unlike eject button, which is like a good item because you can use it with Pokemon that have like intimidate and fake out, emergency exit is like really terrible because you don't like you don't get any benefit for bringing Galissapod back in. So yeah, it's a really bad ability. The the only thing that it can really abuse is this attack first impression, which um can only be used. It can, it's a priority move, and it's a bug-type attack, so it's, like, you know, fast, relatively strong. It's, like, one of the strongest priority moves, but maybe the strongest priority move, but, um, unfortunately, it, it only works when it's first switched in. It's bug-type, it's 90 base power, so that's one of the main things that you're going to be using with Galissapod. And in terms of its stats, so it actually has really good stats. HP is about mid-range, attack is relatively high, defense is huge, and its special defense is not bad at all. You're not going to be using its special attack, unfortunately, but, um, its speed is relatively low, which is both a positive and a negative. It means that... Like, the real problem with the Galissapod is that it's going to be taking damage before it can attack, and that's, like, kind of a pain. But if you can get the speed advantage somehow with Tailwind or Trick Room, then that changes significantly. So let's just jump into the sets. Um, this is your first set that I'm going to give you. I normally don't start with an Assault Vest set, but I actually like it best here as the first set. Um, max HP, 100 attack with 156 special defense, and it's very slow. So something notable about Galissapod is that it underspeeds Alolan Marowak. And Alolan Marowak is very popular right now. It's very, like, widely used in Trick Room, and... Um, Glissapod being able to underspeed it and hit, hit it with a super effective stab boosted liquidation is like very positive. Um, even though the set has two priority moves, I feel okay about it because um, you should probably be running Glissapod with your own Tapu that isn't Tapu Lele to kind of counter Tapu Lele's, um, counter Tapu Lele's pri uh, psychic terrain ability, like activating ability, which stops priority moves. I actually, I didn't write it down here, but Tapu Bulu is a relatively good partner, I would say. Um, yeah, definitely a good partner, actually. So, yeah, in terms of moves, first impression is, like, it's one of your strongest moves, and liquidation is the same thing. Poison Jabs for coverage, and then Aqua Jet is for priority outside of Psychic Terrain, just picking things off that people think they're safe, leaving their low HP Pokemon, especially because he does hold... I'm sorry, especially because he is so slow. So, in terms of Calyx, I even this thing to have a very good chance of surviving Max Special Attack, Tapalele Psychic. And by surviving, I mean not being two shot, so that it can Poison Jab after taking a Psychic. Um, and if you remove the Terrain... This is going to do significantly less. So um, that's part of the reason Grassy Terrain is good here. It also heals health. It also, um, it mainly, mainly it stops Psychic. So um, I've put Poison Jab in here. You can see First Impression will also do a decent chunk. Um, yeah, over 50% of its health done from First Impression. So that's like a really, really convincing. And this is with max HP as well. So if you, if you drop the HP, you can see your attacks are going to do a lot more damage. So that was the main specialty defensive calc that I ran. I put the rest into attack. Um, same thing here. I was just curious to know how much Poison Jab plus Aqua Jet did to Tapu Coco. So actually... This calc is a little bit misleading, but basically, if you use Poison Jab and you follow up with an Aqua Jet, even if you don't get the poison, you should be should be KOing most of the time. Because you can see, Aqua Jet's min damage is 37, so you take 145 and subtract 37, and you get 108. And you can see that, like, that's right in the middle here. So anything more on this, like, you're probably not going to get the min roll, you'll probably get, like, close to something. Even, even in the worst case scenario, you should be averaging, like, 40 here and, like, 106 here. Um, and that all that will KO. So Aqua Jet plus Poison Jab should actually be KOing. And now I'm going to use my new ult tab trick. It didn't work. Oh, alt tab. No. Shift, control tab? Cool. Okay. The last calc that I ran is I wanted to see how much this did versus Krugerdile because um, late game Krugerdile with Triscar can be really threatening and uh, first impression always chaos. So that's like another reason why if you hit something for super effective with first impression, it's going to be doing a lot of damage because it's a relatively strong power, uh, strong like move and um, Glissapod also is relatively high attack and then on top of that, um, it's already like a, it's like a high base power and it gets a stab boost as well. So... <clears throat> That's that's the first set, guys. That's that's the calcs there. Um, next up, we have this next set. This is with the Waterium Waterium Z uh, Max HP again. This is again meant for Trick Room. Um, 196 attack and 60 special defense. So the EVs are a little bit different here. Let's go ahead and 
see what they do. Um, the attack you use are to make sure that you always KO Tapu Lele with liquidation. That's the main thing. Um, you can see Psychic doesn't KO in return. I didn't even put any EVs, so... Yeah, Psychic's gonna do a lot, but it's it, this is mainly used as like a Trick Room Sweeper rather than like an Assault Vest bulky Pokemon. So Liquidation again can do a lot of damage. You do give up all the priority moves except for First Impression on. You give up Aqua Jet in this set, but I think it's worth it to gain Protect. Um, yes, uh, this is always curious. Uh, Poison Tap is a very good chance of KOing Tapu Bulu, which is really convincing. They might KO themselves with Wood Hammer. Um, and yeah, sorry, this, this is a little misleading. You can see Wood Hammer never KOs in return, so. That's pretty good, and then last calc we have here is first impression is a as like <laughs> a very good chance to two shot Cartana, which is really nice because you can bring Glissapod in first impression Cartana, and then if they force you to switch out, you can first impression it again later. And so I think that's personally pretty convincing. So first impression actually a good move if you can just figure out a way around psychic terrain. So yeah, that's that. And then the last set I have here is more of a support set. Um, it's it's intended to stick around for longer. Uh, Leftovers is good here again. This is a good Pokemon to pair with Tapu Bulu. Um, max HP. This sixty defense is. It'll make sense in a second, and then the rest in special defense. You might actually, I might have, I'm so sorry, guys. No, I guess, I guess this is the most efficient, because it might make more sense just to put, um, like, a boosting defense nature, because its base defense is higher than its base attack, but I think based on what we're trying to do, it's actually better to do this. So, yeah, basically, this is, I wanted to make sure a minus one wood hammer didn't do, like, had a, had a low chance of activating emergency impression, so, or emergency exit. It's an emergency exit, and it's first impression, so, um, yeah. So, that's why I wanted that. Uh, and this is max attack, so if they run even a little bit less, it'll probably, like, make a big difference. Like, you can see, even if they go all the way down to, like, 230, 228, they're already, like, it's doing even less damage. So, um, that's just what I wanted defensively, and then I just put the rest in special defense, just so I knew. Um, and just Gyarados is a pretty common Pokemon right now, so if you want, you can actually sub Liquidation or First Impression, or maybe Wide Guard is probably the best one for a coverage move, like Poison Jab, and that way you could win the one-on-one -on -one versus Gyarados, because you can see it's not, it's just not doing any damage, especially with Leftovers and, and Protect. So, um... Yeah, those are all the Galissapod sets that I have for you. Those are some of the calcs. Feel free to run more, and uh, feel free to try and improve my EV spreads. And also, like, I kind of gave you guys some benchmarks with this thing, where I gave you, like, three different... Especially with these two, I gave you, like, different benchmarks offensively and defensively. So, um, feel free to mix and match, like, moves and sets and items. Assault Vessel will, will change things a little bit, but... Um, especially with, like, we could run... You could very easily run Water AMZ on this set, um, and it wouldn't be it wouldn't be bad. And you could have the attack, or you could put some speed if you were trying to outspeed something, but... Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So in terms of partners, I really like Arcanine as a partner because it has Intimidate to boost Glissabot's already pretty sizable physical defense. It gets will o -Wisp again, boosting that. It gets Snarl to raise Glissabot's special defense. Um, its fire typing is good versus fairy types. It's, um, it's good versus grass types, so it, it adds another thing versus grass types. It's good versus steel types, which could give Glissabot some problems. It has, there's one more thing I wanted to say about Arcanine. Glissabot takes out Ground-type Pokemon, like it's very good versus the Pokemon that know Ground-type moves, which are Marowak, Garchomp, and Crocodile, and especially Marowak, Marowak and Crocodile, Glissabot is like very good against, so um, that's why partially why Glissabot benefits Arcanine. They do share a rock weakness, but especially if you want to run Wide Guard, because it does learn Wide Guard, um, then it can actually pair really well. Garchomp is similar, where um, Glissabot can take Earthquakes like no problem, though you might not want to Earthquake yourself. Garchomp doesn't help versus Fairies unless you run like Scarf Poison Jab or like Life Orb Poison Jab, which is an option, but I still really like Garchomp here because it helps versus the Electric type weakness that Glissabot has. I mentioned that it has two weaknesses, Electric and Rock, and Garchomp resists both of those. So even though Glissabot doesn't benefit Garchomp that much, um, Garchomp definitely helps Glissabot, and if you run Poison Jab and Glissabot, you can actually change that a lot. So um, Poison Jab, Glissabot with Garchomp, Garchomp very good versus Tapu Coco, which is really good versus Glissabot, so... Overall, I think Garchomp is a solid choice, and kind of following up on that, Marowak also um, is a good is a good partner for Glissapod because it redirects Electric type attacks, which is really big. Um, it hits Grass types. It helps double up on Grass types. It hits Rock types, similar to Glissapod. Um, both Glissapod and Marowak sh like they share a weakness to Rock, but you can kind of mitigate that by um, by like just out damaging them. So Marowak is also a good trick on Pokemon. Bone Meringue, you can see here. Uh, liquidation, it's very hard, especially if you use a water or AMZ. Um, so yeah, Marowak, good versus rock types, just needs to be careful not to take damage. Can also benefit a lot from wide guard because it blocks rock slide and earthquake, which are some of the common moves. Uh, like, Glissapod is like a very, very safe switch into water type attack, so that helps a lot. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Marowak goes versus fire types as well, which is like, Glissapod isn't weak to fire types, but having having a Pokemon that resists it is like always nice, especially with Torkoal running rampant all over the place. So... Uh, if you guys are interested in this Marowak set, I've already done a video covering it. You can check it out. I will link it in the description down below. Uh, if you want to know what these EVs do, what these, why these moves are chosen, uh, other suggestions for Marowak, you can check those out. So, 
Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time for the next competitive analysis. Thank you for watching.